Hi everybody and welcome back. Now for this last video I have a block for you that I've created. I've got it up here so hopefully you can see at that angle. Now this was the first one I did and I did lots of quilting in here. Um, I wanted something that was a little bit different with the quilting so this was quite oh this one sorry this was the first one this one was quite heavy in here so I changed it and of course then I changed it again as you do to this one now I've taken a lot of the extra quilting out of here and just done a few feathers and a bit of a scroll going on here so at the end of the day then I couldn't decide which one I liked I ran it past my sister who said she liked both so I'm going to give you both and you can decide which one you like so my plan was that this is in the 22 by 22 hoop and I've joined these two together with just a strip so I've stitched a quarter inch on each side and when I put the back on my plan is to come back and connect these lines so it looks like it's one complete block and I also liked the idea of them being lengthwise to create an interesting pattern but what happens when you create them as a square is down here in this corner section where they meet when you line up the other blocks and you'll have to just have a little bit of imagination here because they're not stitched but it also creates this other lovely pattern going on here in the center so you could stitch these out um, in a row if you wanted or if you join four together you're going to create a nice interesting pattern here in the center so I will give you both um, one will be maybe just V version 1 and version 2 and then you can decide which one you like and of course you can do them in any color um, for this one that has all the detail in the middle I do suggest what I did first was did the basting stitch all around and it will do all of this center piece and these lines coming out and then it changes color to do the white stitching here which is the feathers and then it will go back to the turquoise I've used to do this outside border now I set this up and I did first um, a basting stitch around the edge did the first color and then did the second color then I undid the basting stitch and thread it up for the second color and then did the basting again now because there's so many stitches what happens is it does pull in a little bit so you'll find when you undo the basting stitch and redo it that the holes that are still there you'll see it comes in about an eighth of an inch on all four sides so by undoing the basting and redoing it it means that all of these stitches that come around here are not going to um, get caught up in your basting stitch which I find really annoying so it's easy enough to pull out the basting stitch um, I did do the same on this however there's not quite as many stitches in this one didn't seem to pull in as much but definitely if you're going to do this with all these small feathers in here I would do what I said with the basting stitch so I quite like this I think it's a little bit different I probably say that about everything but anyway um, I hope you like it too and uh, maybe I'll explore this idea a little bit more so that's all from me for now I hope you have a great month till I see you again bye for now